Hey, hey, Drunk Spider-Man here, and welcome to Nidsville. Now, this is, uh, I guess, the new new server that we've set up since 1.9 came out. So, uh, people have been busy. Um, like, this is... It, it hasn't been up for super duper long, but, I mean, you got a whole... Like, this is Drolorik's Market, and um, that's Almond's Tower. It's pretty sweet. But... Um, the reason why I'm making this video is to give you guys a tour of what uh, Umkins and I are calling Castle Grayskull. Now, Umkins, formerly known as Fisticuffs, he's my older brother. He uses Umkins for everything else except for Minecraft, and I eventually talked him into, you know, changing. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so that skull over there, and the tower on top is, uh, is our base. I spent all of yesterday making that tower and I am actually really proud how it turned out even though it is just a giant phallus so uh, let's see okay I do have my dirt um, so yeah like we have very sophisticated stair systems built inside the castle you guys are gonna be super amazed by how amazing these uh, staircases are um, and also by the way out front all this right up here used to be a mountain that we've just slowly chiseled down because it was blocking the view of Castle Grayskull which you know you can't you can't have boom I need to change where that S is so come inside we got our enchanting room got a bunch of furnaces come over here loots garburator some long some deep storage farm farm and uh, um, the upstairs is quite fancy. There's another portal back there, but I don't know how much longer it's going to be there because it's basically useless. So, so as you can see, very, very sophisticated ways of getting up and down in here so far. Um, but yeah, so this is the upstairs. Just two brothers. And uh, we've got the windows, which are the eyes of the skull, which is pretty, pretty schnazzy. There's also the bedrooms. But the tower up there, which again, just the most efficient and amazing ways of traveling through stairs and getting to locations in Minecraft, um, is up here. Now I really hope Unkins remembered to close the door, because, uh, yeah, you know, he's like that. So, this is, yeah, I really like how this turned out. I put way too much time in farming all the mats and making it, because, uh, well, that's just who I am. And, like, I'm not, not a big aesthetic builder in Minecraft, so, um, just ignore that, there's nothing over there you guys need to worry about, um, so, uh, um, the fact that I made this is, uh, a personal, personal feat, personal accomplishment, so, uh, I really like how it turned out, I love this roof, in this room, uh, I probably would never be able to replicate it, but I'm okay with that, it, uh, yeah, it's great. And if you look downstairs, the floor is actually a skull. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, like I said, I'm really proud of this. The view is absolutely spectacular from up here. Um, if my render distance was set up for, for more and it wouldn't, like, completely start slowing me down, um, you'd be able to see, actually. Hmm. I'm tempted to... Yeah, whatever. Um, so, yeah, that's all Jalorik's Market. As you can see, there's a couple stores down there and whatnot. It's pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, it's like uh, I'm not gonna do like a full like Nitzville t uh, tour, but you know. And something that okay, so something that I'm really proud of that I w wasn't sure if I was gonna include in this video or not, just because all the time, like whenever I make something secret in this, someone comes along and does something to it. Like on the old server, um, someone came around and blew a bunch of holes in my yard and stuff. And I'm not gonna talk about who it is because whatever. But um, yeah, so like it was kind of upsetting the fact that someone just came along and like dug around the pub and blew a bunch of holes in it trying to find where Boris was sleeping. Um, just kind of a piss off, but um, I'm actually going to uh, just show you guys something because it it took me forever to figure out and it shouldn't have, but it did, and I'm gonna show you guys what I did. <laughs> So I'm actually digging all this out down here. This is my new project, is just hollowing out all this area. Um, and it's all hooked up, sticky pistons, and I really like how it turned out. Shit, I don't have a pickaxe, <laughs> or else I would dig up the floor and show you. Because having buttons set to toggle is annoying as hell, at least from what I was looking at, to try to get it to do it. 
Um, I still have iron up here. Yeah, I do. Um, so the fact that I found a good enough guide to make it happen made me quite happy. And just stringing it all together and whatnot was uh, quite quite the pain. But I'll show you how it's done because I'm a nice guy. Um, so you can set up these toggle switches pretty easily. Uh, basically, you have to use regular pistons, not sticky pistons. So that's key. And you uh, um, you put uh, two pistons down. You make this L-shaped block right here. You put two redstone torches on either side and a redstone torch underground. There's also like a full-on hole down there. Um, and basically what happens is when you push the button, the one piston moves. Like So the button has to be hooked up to that redstone dust up top. And uh, um, the pistons move. Uh, and basically cut off the circulation, or like the circuit, I guess, would be the proper word. Here, I'll show you in its other position. I just realized I won't be able to get out when it's in its other position. I'll show you. Boop. So, see how it changed? And it's weird, because the way you'd expect it to flow, like the electricity to flow, it doesn't. But, like... As you can see, like like that that's cut off, but there's still power to that. I don't know, it's weird, but it worked, so I don't really question it too much. Um, and yeah, like I uh, I really like how it turned out, and the fact that it does work and it does toggle, it just makes me so happy. Uh, okay, let's see if I can remember how I had this set up. All right, because I need the half slap here. There we go. But it's all dug it underneath here, and I don't know. I, I love it. I love it. So um, I'm going to continue to hollow it underneath, probably. And Ooms and I have a uh, a hidden mine shaft. Well, not really hidden, but we found a uh, um, we found a good spot to uh, to mine now, which isn't around here because there's so many people spawning in here that underneath it's just super stripped. So. Um, there really isn't much there. Uh, I do have a shovel. Um, and like I said, eventually this will be... Whoa. That was weird. Not used to there being a lag on the server. <laughs> Might be on my side, to be honest. Because, yeah, we uh, we found some pretty sweet stuff in that... Um, uh, we found an abandoned mine shaft. Uh, and uh, gotten all kinds of sweet loots, and I think we might end up making a rail car system out to it, just because it's pretty far out there. Uh, the only problem is it makes it easier for, I guess, other people to find it if it's railed, unless we hide it really well. But like I said, there's enough people digging around in this area that uh, like can't really hide anything anymore, especially on the ground, because eventually someone will accidentally dig up and in it, and uh, well, I don't know that is. so. Um, Unless you go like super far out, you're not gonna be able to, I guess, conceal anything. Which I mean, it's all right. Like, if you want to conceal your shit, by all means. But I mean, um, it's hard to conceal a giant skull. <laughs> so uh, um, I'm not really too worried about concealment. I'm not worried about people stealing my shit on the server that much. Like, the nids usually, like, like people involved in the nid are, you know, not dicks. Um, so that, like, so like if you're thinking about joining the server, like it's not something to be worried about. And if you're, if you are thinking about joining the server, um, the link is in the, uh, well, I guess the link would technically be in the description, but in a weird spot in the description, because it, it's not, like, just straight up link, you have to go to, uh, the NID website. And I think it's just, like, mc.thenid.com or something for the, um, for, like, the server IP for the NID, I think. Is there a way to check that without going out of game? Eh, probably not. So, uh, uh, am I still collecting these? No, I'm not. Uh, I don't know, I'm just doing base maintenance. So exciting! Base maintenance! Um, but yeah, that's basically all I really want to talk about. Just show off the base. You know, I'll probably do videos in Minecraft every time something, I guess, big happens. So, like, if, um,. Like every time something like new and exciting is built or you know that kind of stuff like so i'm not just gonna have tedious episodes of me farming unless that's what you guys want let me know if you want to see me just like, hitting up mines and stuff because i mean i have no problem doing it i just didn't, don't think it's 
that exciting. But uh, yeah, I think that's basically it. Um, all I really want to talk about. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, oh, besides, I'm going to try to get two videos up a week now. And uh, it's a comment that I'm kind of willing to make at this point. And I hopefully will be able to stick by it. Because, uh, well, at the end of the day, I think like you guys deserve content. And uh, um, and I, I, I do enjoy making it. So uh, um, I think it would be a lot easier if I actually had like more of a uh, schedule, I guess, with uploads. So, oops, I want to be pulling these out as I go. Because I need to make a bunch more uh, smooth stone or brick. Because that shit is one of my favorite building mats. Really, none of these have anything in them. What am I doing with my time? So yeah, like, uh, I don't know what days of the week yet. I don't know if I'm, I can fully commit to, like, saying this date at this time there's going to be a video up. But I am willing to commit that over the course of the coming weeks there will be a video up every day. Or not every day. Blech. There'll be two videos up every week. So, uh, um, prepare your butts, I guess, because that's exciting. At least for me. So, um, yeah, I'd just like to thank you all for watching. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Bye!